Dama yo ni ako. Eh, ni Benny. from UN Agriculture Extension mm -hmm. but I was happy to be here uh -huh. like we introduced one our friend okay. a friend oh yeah. <laughs> but I'm generally <laughs> you are the CM Grace. yeah but so I know okay. the school uh -huh. uh, I have a friend uh, lecturer <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> very nice good very nice good very happy good to dancer. Mm. how about you I'm a student on RCM RCM she's a student on RCM how many people feel burnt out? We don't have to be shy. Like you're like, this is done. Like we cut it here. <laughs> right? So, and how many people go through stress on a daily basis? <laughs> Two hands. <laughs> right? Yeah, so basically, uh, this stress, if we don't combat it in the right way, we end up having anxiety disorders. For example, these anxiety disorders that we might be looking in the long term are generalized anxiety disorders. We are looking, uh, we are looking at social anxiety. We are looking at panic attacks. Do you know about panic attacks? Yeah? We know about panic attacks where these are some of the symptoms that you might be facing if you have panic at attacks. The minute you're having panic attack, you have a fear that you're going to die. You have a fear that your heart is racing. You're sweating. You're shaking. You know, you're, you have frozen yourself and you are not able to think out of what is happening to your physical symptoms. You have abdominal pains. All these things happen due to anxiety right anxiety and stress so when we're about to do our exams or when we are studying for exams you end up finding that we have abdominal pains we have muscle tension all this is a, as a result of you know the stress we have apart from the anxiety to develop into or the stress to develop into anxiety disorders it can develop into uh, depression and it can develop into mood disorders as well if we don't combat it the right way so seeking mental health is very important how do you seek mental health mental health is as easy as seeking social support from your friend it is as easy as getting to your school counselor it is as easy as getting to a therapist there are so many therapists who offer you can do it even online if you have the fear you have the stigma to walk into an office to sit down and talk about your problems remember these are not the only problems you might be having it might not be school it could be relationships you could have gotten through a breakup you could have gotten through you know childhood trauma you could have gone through 
domestic abuse, you could have gone through sexual abuse, all of those types of things, you are warranted to seek mental health. So that is why Joshua asked a question, what do we know about mental health? Maybe one or two people to tell me what they know about mental health. My hands up, you don't have to, no answer is right, no answer is wrong, don't worry about it. And don't look down. And don't look down, what do you know about mental health? <laughs> May, wow! Well done, well done! And hats off to her because she's aware. So what do we know about self-awareness now? How many of us can say confidently we are self-aware? Take me, tell me something about self-awareness. Um, um, uh, like knowing how to deal with people in public. Right. Um, Knowing whether I'm an introvert, an extrovert, or a mm -hmm. Yeah. Knowing okay. what makes me angry, knowing how to manage my emotions. Yeah. Okay, well done, well done. So, knowing yourself basically. What is those triggers that make you angry? What is those triggers that make you sad? What is those triggers that make you sad? How do you combat it? What are the coping mechanisms? How many know of breathing exercises for stress? Because currently, I know, due to the examinations, the course, you guys must be facing stress, isn't it? You're doing, you said, two? Two, yeah, uh, we have uh, like intermediate papers, level. Uh -huh. So they do six papers at once, uh -huh. two sections. Two sections at once, eh? Six papers. I don't think that is a joke. It's not a joke. I don't think it is a joke. And being very honest to you, when me back in the day when I was doing accounts, I was like, no, hell no, accounts is not cut out for me. So I was like, for me, it's definitely something to do with social sciences. So hats off to you people, because I look at you like somewhere here for me, you know? So it's, it's really good that you guys are doing, but how do you cope with stress? Maybe one or two people, once again, to tell me, what do they do when they have stress? Do you drink? Do you sleep? You shout. You sleep a lot, okay? Anyone else who has an unhealthy coping mechanism and would want to know healthier coping mechanisms? Gym, exercise. Wow, well done. Uh-huh. Anyone else who is probably getting drunk? And <laughs> eating a lot. Eating a lot. Uh-huh. So you see that's also an unhealthy coping mechanism. Sleepless nights. Uh-huh. So not sleeping at all. Oversleeping. Oversleeping. Uh-huh. Eh? Is that healthy? Okay. <laughs> Oversleeping is healthy. Yeah, Oversleeping is healthy. Thank you. Right, yeah. We wake up on All right. So what we believe in that for a good uh, status of mental health is not that today you get a good sleep. Let's say you get 13 hours of sleep. Eh? You get home, you get home like at 8 o'clock, you go to sleep at 9, you wake up the next day at 10. Do you think you've even been productive with your money? Not really. Right? So what you do, you develop a good schedule. Basically, you know, having a balanced diet, having your meal maybe twice in a day or thrice in a day. It's quite healthy. To do so in fact skipping meals is not healthy you know but now what we are talking about is the eating disorders that some of you have mentioned to me you know this is like binge eating this is when we keep on eating under stress we keep on eating and we are eating unhealthy snacks you know this includes things like chocolate ice creams fried processed foods you know so all these are unhealthy so the first thing we need to do is develop a schedule so if you don't have a schedule go and get that done you know it will get you even closer to what we call having a vision board or having your daily life goals you know uh, the second thing is also establishing your goals what are your goals in life you know that will help you reduce your stress you know at this point you might be very unsure what we say come see concern you know so <laughs> We might be very unsure, but if we develop these life goals and you say by next year, I want to have a car, I'll be coming to Arboretum with my car. Isn't it massive? Yes, it is. It's possible. Very, very. Exactly. So it depends. Lay out your life goals. All right. <clears throat> Third 
quietly do breathing exercise this is very simple open any YouTube um, breathing exercise and do it feel relaxed meditate these are things you need to do and then we have the dance clan here of course yeah we have the dance, dance clan yes these people can make you shake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and apart from it, even if you are at home alone, mm -hmm. yeah. just put some music on. Mm -hmm. dance. dance. Before you leave that house, it's a different story. It's a different story. You know what happens when we breathe in, you know? Basically, emotions. The word emotion. It's, it has the motion beat in it. So what happens with our emotions? They're always moving. <laughs> around their body around the body so each time you get stressed the emotions start moving again you are not even able to pinpoint you know that's what you're not even able to pinpoint so what happens next you know you keep on taking the stress it comes and gives you a heavy feeling around your abdomen i don't know how many people get that heavy feeling around the abdomen like what you know, you're like, I do I need to go to the toilet? But you go to the toilet, you're like, nothing. And then you come out, but my my, it's not feeling comfortable. I feel bloated. I feel. Imagine so many cases of even acidity, bloatation, as ulcers in the hospital happen because of anxiety, happen because of stress, happen because we just simply don't take care of our mental health. You know. So basically. These emotions go and settle around our diaphragm. So when we are dancing, you know, we are breathing in, we are breathing out. We are breathing in, we are breathing out. So they start moving and moving and they leave our body. And that is how physical fitness helps us. So physical fitness is another thing you, can, you guys can look into. If you're more about the soul, mind and body, then you can look at things like yoga. Yoga really does help exercise and all that also social support circles so i hope everyone over here can say i have a social support does does is there anyone who doesn't have a social support anyone if you don't have a social support by the way just reach out mercy is here mercy is here come you talk to mercy come you talk to mercy this year we provide for you a what social is, support. What is, what is a social but, but don't what, is, what, what is, what is that? Social, social support <laughs> is family and friends who are your protective factors. By protective factors we mean they help you, not only protect you, but they help you and empower you. Every time you feel you are down, they are there to empower you and to affirm you. Do you know, words of affirmation can go a long way. Isn't it? Intellectual intimacy. You know, whereby, ah, by the way, I don't think that that, that question that we've been given is actually, you know, something that I can do. So how, how does your peer help you? Intellectual intimacy, you know, your, your, your romantic partner, you know, now that is the intimacy the friend behind there was well, laughing at. I was talking about a party friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, you know, even our relationships should be empowering. And if you feel like you're not in an empowered relationship, and you feel like you're not intimate with your partner, not only sexual intimacy, but with your partner you're supposed to gain intellectual intimacy, emotional intimacy, and sexual intimacy. Of course, there are those things that we are well aware of when it comes to sexual intimacy, isn't it? Yes, such as STDs, unwanted pregnancies, and so on and so forth, isn't it? So, but your, your relationship should be healthy. Both you as partners should have healthy contributions to the relationship. And if you guys can sit and talk with your partner and be like, Okay, you know, this is something that has been stressing me out. Just before I do my six papers, can we talk about it? It will go a long way in helping you just concentrate on that. So, check, check, there are so one, many two, things. Check, check. Mm -hmm. There are Mike so test. many things that could actually help you oh yeah, oh yeah, work oh yeah. on your stress. But Mike however, test. Test. those are the only ones we can talk about today in this session. 
he works really well with them and we are here to help we are here to support you in case of any questions i'm not leaving i'll be here i can get your number i can get i can help you do it and super any questions yes i have yeah. but this kind of gatherings we must hire somebody uh when in this case here you guys came uh, to Isinia, my home have some home at Isinia, we hired uh, not the uh, Mondi, Clinton Mondi, the BDA teacher. Yeah, he was my student, you can realize your, your talent. To kind of Sarova Stanley, who made the Sarova Namibia? Yeah. Sarova Stanley, yeah, great. To catch who are nice, who David Cashero. Is he performing? Yes. Very well. So, what I want to know about RCM, what I want to know about RCM, now the BDA teacher, morning teacher, isn't it? Yeah. So, today, who do we take from you guys here? We are starting our welfare, and there's some team must sat down and thought of this uh, great lady. Where's Mama Jume? Where's Mama Kazi? I mean, you can't even clap for her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah at least now, you know, for the welfare, we need somebody who will be there full time, right? Maintaining our records, record keeping at our handicapped groups. Most of us are still looking uh, down when they talk. Most of us, they can't in this case here project like me, I'm able to see. Because I'm able to look around and uh, tell that person is not able to hear me easily. That's what we call public speak. So this one if I can come and say, for example, like RCM, you forfeit this course called public speaking. We run it easily. And then we say, for example, like uh, every student for the public speaking class, we're going to hire teachers. And now that we are lucky that RCM can uh, be able to support some functions, like now we have an office, at, uh, we will be able to give that office to the welfare. At first we pay rent like that. Of course, ultimately, then the welfare should be able to, if, 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 if they take it uh, very nicely to these investments and whatever. And of course, you don't invest uh, long term. You invest in case of anything, within four days you should be able to get back your money. Mm -hmm. I can never, you know, even my name is Joshua, in the Bible, Joshua, you know, I'm <laughs> yeah, and it's a liver, isn't it? Yes. What is that? Yeah. I cannot mislead you. Myself, I will never, and I pray, I will never take even a single cent from because I mean, where I work, I'm, I have a very stable job, you guys know. Right? RCM is a stable institute. Where would I want to even get an allowance from? Well, welfare. Actually, the welfare basically is to train you guys to become good managers. And of course, the help members. Like so then I would want you, for you secretary, chairman and uh, uh, treasurer, the party any of Lana or Yota number, our staff lazim akul. Board lazim akul diversity. That is why if you look at uh, this great lady, she's differently able. Mona mkona moja kuna problem. Yeah, that's what you want. Kama RCM ukiona uta kujio pata tayari RCM kuna kabila moja. Kamu i mokoi ta metoka teso mawadi. That's it. Mina kanya deva. Yes. Like the young men I have who are running RCM, basically I'm never at RCM. I have a very talented team. Come out to to I keep the tables that I I want that kind of uh, a team. Alright? So, if you want to see this, you can see this, you can see this, like this, you can see this, you can see this. I don't mind RCM for the time being paying some allowances, including the eight officials from these other areas. But at the end of the day, we want people to be able to think outside the box. They bring in revenues to the welfare. So for now, the Manoti is getting a lot of uh, Manoti. Yes, sir. Do we take you right away without? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, good. Let me just Treasure respond us. to that. Uh, yes. Thank you for those who are voting for me. <laughs> I, I really appreciate. <laughs> Manoti, you okay? And I have uh, RCM at my heart, and yes. I wish to see the welfare move forward.